It's funny how small, seemingly unimportant details from the past stir your emotions and your memories. From simple tasks to forgotten products, these details fill our lives from a very young age. But as time ticks on, we forget about some of the small things. So it's always fun to look back and find more that remind us of those simple times. So you might be old if you remember this. In the past, it was relatively common for grown-ups to send their children to the local convenience stores with handwritten notes. Usually, it was to pick up a pack of cigarettes. This was something that was prevalent in an era when smoking was much more widespread. The note would typically specify the brand and the quantity of cigarettes to buy, and the kid would have cash to pay for it. This was a time when the storekeeper knew many of their customers, and it wasn't unusual for them to honor the note. Before home electronics became much more affordable, some people often rented equipment like televisions and VCRs. Big, heavy TVs could be rented from places like Curtis Mathis, and they would deliver it to your door. While VCRs were commonly available at video rental stores, this made using newer technology a bit more affordable for those that needed something for a special occasion. Tinker toys and Lincoln logs are classic toys that have been enjoyed for generations. But when was the last time you saw them being used? Tinker toys consisted of wooden spools and sticks that could be interconnected to build various structures, encouraging creativity and fine motor skills. Lincoln logs, on the other hand, were small wooden logs with notches that fit together, enabling kids to build log cabins. Both toys were very popular 50 years ago, and they have left a lasting legacy as timeless toys. But it's difficult to compete with the video games and iPads that kids are addicted to today. Recollection Road is proud to partner with Legacy Box. Watch until the end of this video to find out more about digitizing your family's irreplaceable memories, and then visit LegacyBox.com recollection for an incredible 55% off. Hand-painted signs on buildings were a common way for businesses to advertise in the pre-digital age. Skilled sign painters would use brushes and paint to create intricate and colorful signs that were large and attention-grabbing. The brick buildings along Main Street were the perfect canvases, often featuring elaborate typography and eye-catching designs, adding character to many downtown areas. With the rise of modern printing techniques, sign painters have all but disappeared. Luckily, small towns across the country still have some of these faded ghost signs, and in many cases, they are working to preserve them too. Before the introduction of the self-sticking postage stamp, people had to moisten the back of a stamp with their tongue to activate the glue and then affix it to an envelope. This was back when writing letters and putting things in the mail was a daily thing. Who remembers when a stamp cost just six cents? Well, if you do, then you certainly remember licking the back of hundreds of stamps to mail your share of letters. Cigarette vending machines were once a typical thing you might find in a bar or restaurant. It was all about convenience, and these machines allowed people to buy a pack of cigarettes in places where there tended to be more smoking. So for the chain smoker who spent a lot of time at these gathering spots, they were cherished machines. Since then, cigarette vending machines have largely disappeared from the American commercial landscape. Avon is still a well-known cosmetics company, but there was a time when selling Avon meant going door to door. Women, often referred to as Avon ladies, would make their way around the neighborhoods building a clientele of friends and neighbors who swore by Avon products. For many women, this gave them flexibility when it came to working and raising a family. The Avon lady pitch was important, so when they would visit a home, the products would always be demonstrated. From makeup to household products, Avon built a loyal customer base by selling their products door to door. Legs is a brand of pantyhose that used to be sold in large plastic eggs. These egg-shaped containers were distinctive and made legs a popular choice when it came to buying pantyhose. The packaging actually helped prevent runs in the hosiery and made them easily recognizable on store shelves. 
Not only would women buy these pantyhose, but the egg-shaped container would often be reused for other purposes, including as makeshift toys for kids. Do you remember watching some of these old game shows on daytime TV? The Draw Your Favorite contest was a marketing campaign used by the art instruction schools in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It was a correspondence course program that taught aspiring artists how to draw. And it would all start with an ad in a magazine or a newspaper. Kids would be encouraged to draw a turtle or a pirate and submit their test for a chance to win prizes or even scholarships to the art school. For a kid, these ads were always tempting because many of us grew up reading comics and seeing cartoons that made being an artist seem like the perfect job. Raggedy Ann and Andy were dolls created to accompany a series of books in the 1920s. The beloved dolls became staples in pretty much every kid's room during the middle part of the century. The dolls had red yarn for hair, stitched faces, and simple clothing, and the dolls showed up in books and on television, making them popular with children. Raggedy Ann and Andy became an enduring icon of childhood, making them not only keepsakes, but also highly collectible. Burger Chef was known for its hamburgers. Ordering a Big Chef and heading over to the works bar to dress it up was always a treat. This restaurant was special, from the architecture of the building and signage to the food offerings which included the first kids meal called the Fun Burger. It was Burger Chef and Jeff that were the face of the restaurant and the characters had kids asking to go to Burger Chef quite often. Today, Burger Chef is still fondly remembered as one of America's favorite fast food places, although it was sold to Hardee's back in 1982. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and make sure to sign up for the Recollection Road newsletter using the link in the description. Recollection Road and Legacy Box both believe it's important to preserve the past. If you're like me, there's a box of your family's treasured home movies and photos tucked away somewhere, and Legacy Box can help you preserve them digitally. The process is a simple and safe solution for converting your home movies and photos to thumb drive or to the cloud. Just send in your Legacy Box filled with old VHS and camcorder tapes, film reels, and pictures, and get back digital copies that can be easily enjoyed, shared, and kept organized. It's that easy. Legacy Box is trusted by over 1 million people, and it's all done right here in the USA. Get started preserving your past today. Go to LegacyBox.com slash recollection to get an incredible 55% off. Buy today to take advantage of this exclusive offer and send in your memories when you're ready. Go to LegacyBox.com slash recollection to save 55% while supplies last. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching the other videos in this series. While you're at it, hit subscribe and share Recollection Road with someone you know. As always, thank you so much for watching.